Hey guys, we're talking about Mitchell Reels, and yes, we're outside. So today, we're talking about the Mitchell and how far they've come into where they are today. And I don't even have the newest reel. So first off, we're going to be talking about the 300, which was built in 19, that would be right there. And this is a very old reel. Look, just look at the size of that spool. That is huge, and there's very little plastic. The only plastic there is is just a little bit up here and a little bit here on the handle. But tell you what, doesn't this bring you back? Just listen to that sound. This was one of my first reels. Now the second reel is the Mitchell 300 Excellence. This was a great reel back in the 90s when it first came out i was using that all the clunky thing for the longest time and then when this thing came out it was like night and day this is nothing but heavy plastic and much much lighter um, just look at the spool this is all plastic there might be a little bit of metal right here on the um whatever you call that the bale um very very much difference the gear ratio is a 5.7 gear ratio and I think the ball bearings were three and that's not saying much for today's standards and now we have the newest reel that I have the newest Mitchell reel I have is a five bearing an eight bearing system and a 5.1 gear ratio and I am sure there are other brands if not Mitchell already has much better than that i believe i got this one last year the year before um but this is so smooth there's no clunking there's no nothing this is a great great reel i do recommend this reel i would get it in a heartbeat again i do actually own several other ones and mitchell over the years has also put out other reels but they're not in that 300 series um those are also great reels. I really, really, I recommend Mitchell. Mitchell is also, I believe, now is merged with Abu Garcia. So, therefore, it just goes to tell you the products that they put out. And Mitchell is affiliated with them now. Okay, and now it's time for your tip of the day. So, here we have a little plastic bowl. Okay, we're going to pretend this has got lukewarm water in it. Okay? And this here is your spool that you just lined up with brand new monofilament line. You're gonna take this spool and you're gonna put it in the lukewarm water and you're gonna let it stay for about an hour. Okay, and after that, you're gonna pull it out, put that down over there, and see how much smaller that's coming out of that much smaller spool? Because what that's done is that it's allowed to take a new memory to this much smaller spool. So if you look at the spool that your line comes on, look at the difference. You're asking this big spool to take memory to this little spool, but by putting the warmer water in there, it helps create a new memory. I don't know. That's what I was told. That's what I've been doing for years, and that is your tip. Take it or leave it. But on that note, Thank you guys for your Sunday and enjoy this nice warm weather as I guarantee you here in New England it will change. Thanks guys. And it's got the drag system down here and you actually turned the spool, if I can get it off, <laughs> there's an outtake for you. Well, it's not coming off. This, it popped off and you change your spools, whatever. Um, <laughs> there's definitely an outtake. We'll have to do that again. That big old clunky um, line. Blah, 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 blah.